Hello and welcome to Control Delete Tutorials. My name is Jason and in this video we're going to continue our Mixamo workflow and uh, in the last video I showed how we could import in our uh, mesh and use the auto rigger. Now we're bringing it into 3ds Max and we're going to fix some of these uh, skinning issues that we have. We're also going to re-rig this model with uh, a, um, a Mixamo uh, Max script which will replace all the bones with the cat rig and I really like using the cat rig um, so that's what we're going to end up showing there they also have another one for the biped I just prefer the cat rig over the biped um, alright so we'll just go ahead and unhide all and here's our character now some of the problems that we have is the bones in our feet are not lined up with the feet at all so we want to fix that that that's gonna be a problem so we don't want to deal with that so what we're going to do is we'll select on the mesh, we'll go into skin, and under where it says advanced parameters, we're going to see always deform. And we're going to uncheck that. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change my selection filter. Uh, let's see, are these under helpers? They are indeed. Okay, so I'm going to set this to helpers, and I'm going to go into move, and when I select this bone, it's going to select down at the end node here. And I'm just going to move this over and line it up to where it's kind of down the middle of the foot. And I'm going to just try to see what number I'm on here and just copy that number. Control C. I'll select that bone. I'll select everything but that negative and paste. That way I can keep everything nice and even here. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste that same number in here so these are nice and straight. And same idea right there. Okay, so we'll see what that looks like. And the ankle's not placed too too badly, so we're okay there. Toes are a little short. They might distort a little bit, but we should be okay. Let's make sure our elbow is placed where we want it to be. That looks pretty good. And the head. I prefer the head to be a little bit more. Well, actually, that's not too bad because it rotates from, your spine rotates from a little more in the back. If we needed to, we could always just move that forward a little bit. I'll move that one as well. Let's go in the left view here. So just make any adjustments that you would need on your mesh. I'm going to kind of place that right behind, right under the ear. Okay, so with that, um, yeah. One last thing. I kind of like this bone to be a little bit more straight up and down for its normal position. That's just my own preference. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the mesh and select here. And we're going to turn always to form back on. So now any changes that I make here, if I go back to helpers, we're going to see really some of the uh, issues here. Okay. Yeah, his face is getting real smushy. That's not going to work so well. So we're going to fix that real quick. So we'll just go back to our all filter. I'll select my mesh. I'm going to go into the skinning. I want to make sure that uh, I'm in envelope mode. And I'm going to turn on my vertices. And I'm going to go up here to move. And I'm going to have my selection set to lasso. So that way I can just kind of select everything uh, everything about right here. And the ones at the top are probably already set, but I'll hold control and select those as well. And I'm just going to set those to 100%. Now what I'm going to do is just turn on auto key and I'm just going to move the head up. I'm going to rotate it up here. Probably about, we'll say, 30 degrees, wherever the extents is, 25 on him. And then back down. Doesn't matter what where you're setting these keys. If you're using 0 to 100, mine just happens to be set to 160 for now. This is just so I can see how the skinning is basically going to fail here. All right, so the back of the head, I'm not so worried. That looks okay. 
for what we're doing. I don't want to spend too much time on skinning here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go back into uh, envelope mode, not elephant mode. That doesn't make any sense. And I'm going to select vertices. And I can start to just use a selection over top of these. I'm going to hit F3 here just to turn on my color so I can see this. And I'm just going to click and drag this until I get a nice blend in this area. And just adjust some of these as well. And I can even turn some of these down a little bit. All right, let's scroll through this direction. All right, so we need to move these ones a little bit more. We want to leave the ones at the very bottom uh, of the neck, just on this character at the very least, just because he's got this crease along his neck where it's separated uh, based on how this mesh is. I want to make sure we have auto key off as well. Okay, so let's see. So we'll just adjust these a little bit, just so they're not going through. So it just kind of creases down. And we'll do the same thing with these ones. So as the head's coming down, just change those a little bit. Yeah, it should be a little bit better. All right, so now the chin's getting a little bit pointy right here. So what I can do is just select there. Now, there's a lot of painting tools. that There should be a whole video on um, skinning. Um, so I'm just trying to make some minor adjustments here to this one. This isn't like a full skinning video. Uh, I'm going to select his neck. So let's go down through here, and we should be able to find neck. And in this case, now I can say that the neck is going to affect these a little bit more. So that way this doesn't go down so harshly here. I'll we'll just affect them just the slightest amount. So let's see what that looks like. Stretches up, comes down. That looks a lot better. Those will probably be the only ones we really are changing on this um, model for now. Um, I do want to select it and kind of go side to side and see what that looks like real quick. So I'll just go back to helpers. And it's another thing I don't like about the, um, the skinning here. The way, it, the way this is selected, it makes it sometimes pretty hard to select things. All right. So we're going to select just, oh, why is nothing selecting? Oh, warps, whoops, helpers is what we want. I was wondering why that wasn't selecting. Now we'll rotate, and we'll see what that looks like. Make sure that doesn't look too weird. Yeah, so you, you can see we're getting a little bit of bad stuff happening there. So I'm going to just delete these keyframes. And now I'll animate his head turning. Let's say 45 degrees one direction. And I'll go back another 45, so that'd be 90 total. That doesn't look too terrible. I could probably live with that. Um, let me just go back and select here, and we'll see if the bottom part of his neck. You know, that's not too, all too bad. I don't want to mess things up too much. You know, we're going to leave it for this video. But we'll do any adjustments that we need to do. Let's make sure we have his feet lined up, so that's all good. All right. And we'll get rid of those keyframes in the neck there. That's the end joint there. 
There we go. So we'll just delete those now. We don't need any animation on this character. All right. So we'll save this version as our reskin or fix if we want. So I just have one here. Auto rig fix. And I'll save that. But that's not all we're doing here. So under script uh, scripting, I'm going to go to open script. And I've got a couple of uh, plugins. Um, not really plugins. They're Mac scripts that Mixamo um, has available. So if we just go to their website and is it under... It might be under control rig scripts. Let's see if that's where they are. Here we go. So auto cat, auto biped, Maya control rig. So I'm just going to get this auto cat script. Okay, there we go. Auto cat. And we'll download that one. And I'll just save that. And open the containing folder and we'll just cut that out and tell you what we'll just put that in our Mixamo workflow we'll just paste it there and then we just want to extract this Okay, so there's auto count. We'll get rid of that. All right, so we saw where that was. There's our URL. Uh, it's just under products, control rig scripts. And then we want the auto cat one. All right. So in here, we're going to have a couple of files. And I'll show you what we want here. So we're going to go to our auto cat folder. And we're going to use the one just simply called AutoCat. We don't need to worry about the other ones. Uh, let's see, we have saved. So we'll go ahead and open this script. And hopefully everything is going to be fine. I haven't renamed anything. Oh, I opened it. That's my mistake. We want to run the script. Okay. I wondered why it popped up in the right directory already. So we'll just go back to our 3ds Max folder. Scenes, I saved this in Mixamo workflow, AutoCat, and we open it. And we say create cat when that pops up. And it's gonna go ahead and replace all of our bones and redo our skinning. I haven't tested this on this model, so hopefully everything works okay. And I think we're all set there. And so now, if I hide the mesh, we have our cat rig. Some of the bones are adjusted a little strange, but that, that's fine. Um, the toes have come in a little bit crooked, which kind of surprised me since we reset those. Let's unhide all here. And I'm going to go to the main control here and go to the motion panel and it's going to put an abs layer so an absolute layer and that adds that in and i like the name that t-pose and i do this one in all caps i try not to get rid of this one if i'm going to do anything else i'll add a new layer and i typically will add that right now so we'll say a new absolute layer and i'm going to call this new layer mixamo animation or anim whatever you want to call it and i'm going to hit the little button here to change this to play mode so the reason i make this first t-pose one is so it'll always have that t-pose saved this one will be for when i import in animation on it and i'll show you how we do that in a little while so i've got my rig and now if i do things like i move the hips Oops. The character should deform. I will see how good the skinning is here on the legs. That's actually not too bad. 
We've had a lot worse happen. Okay, if we grab the hands. Yeah, that's not that's not so bad. We can deal with that. We can test out some of the different hand poses if I double click on any of these presets. So let's say we have a thumbs up. Uh, hands are pulled in a little bit too much for this rig. It's okay. We'll just undo back there. All right. So now we've got our character rigged with the cat rig. So we need to export out a brand new FBX and we're going to bring that into Mixamo. So we'll check that out in the next video. Thanks for watching.